England being the host nation is expected to do well in the tournament and is one of the major contenders along with India and Australia to lift the title. However, there are some hindrances or factors which may prevent England lifting the World Cup title in 2019. Let's begin our today's episode. Number 1. Pressure of playing at home. It is always an advantage when you are playing at your home conditions. But adversely, things can against a team if it succumbs to the added pressure of expectation it has while playing at home. Four editions of World Cup that is 1975, 1979, 1983 and 1999 were held in England. West Indies won it 1975 and 1979 while India and Australia were the winners in 1983 and 1999 respectively. England was the runner-up in 1979. The last time England won a major ICC tournament was the way back in 2010 when they defeated Australia in the finals of the World Cup 2020 tournaments held in West Indies. They have not won a single World Cup title so far. Traditionally, England has struggled in the ICC tournament and considering their latest form, they would be eager to change the history by using the home advantage in their favour. Number 2. Struggle against quality spin Now, most English batsmen are born and brought up playing fast bowlers, so they are very comfortable facing them. However, when there is no pace in the ball and they have to manufacture their shots, then the trouble begins. Historically, England has struggled playing against quality spinners, especially the wrist spinners. Most of the time, the English batters have tried to hit their way out by sweeping the spinners, which might be a dangerous thing to do on a dry wicket. On 12th July 2018, during the Nottingham Odi, the China man's bowler from India, Kulli Yadav, took a career best of 6x25 when bamboozled the English batsman with fight and spin. Now the pitch is expected to become much slower at the end of the World Cup tournament. So, England would be looking to find out a way in order to tackle the spin threat which they will come across in the World Cup. Number 3. A weak bowling attack. Recently, a low-ranked West Indian team managed to draw level the OD series 2-2 with England which is one of the best OD teams at the moment, with the World Cup just around the corner. This was the last thing which England wanted in the run-up run to the tournament which they have never won. They almost lost after scoring in excess of 400 at St. George against the West Indies and it was a late batting collapse for West Indies against spinners Adil Rashid that ensured a win for England. Statistics tell that after the World Cup 2015, England has a bowling average of 36.34 which is worst after West Indies and Sri Lanka. The English bowler have leaked runs at a high economy rate of 5.69 which is second only to struggling Sri Lanka. As a bowling unit, England has conceded over 300 runs as many as 22 times, which is highest among the test playing nations. England has been too dependent on their batting over the past few years. So the onus is the and the bowlers to share the border with the bats if they are to win their first World Cup title. They need to sharpen their skills when the wicket offers nothing for the bowlers. Number 4 tendency to collapse once in a while. The number one team in OD cricket has the tendency to collapse especially in the mega events. We have seen a few instances in the past where England has snatched a loss from the jaws of victory. In a rain curtail encounter of 20 overs each in the final of the Champions Trophy 2013, England contained India to 7 by 129 over in 20 overs courtesy a 3 wicket spell by Ravi Bopara. Chasing the target of 130 England at, one st England at one stage, they were cruising at 4 by 110 in 17.3 overs. But after a late lower middle order collapse, they fell short of the target by 5 runs. This time England would not be looking to repeat those mistakes and they would like to improve their temperament while playing big games. Number 5. Lack of specialists are too many all-rounders. The role of an all-rounder is essential in cricket nowadays. They are essentially in every format, especially the white ball format. But at the end of the day, specialists are of utmost importance in the team. 
An all-rounder is usually bits and pieces player in comparison to specialists who can certainly give you either 50 to 60 runs or 3 to 4 wickets. The consistency level of a spe specialist is usually high as compared to an all-rounder. Joe Root, who is the skipper of the England team and plays as a specialist batsman, has played 24 matches in 2018, scoring 946 runs with an average close to 60. Adil Rashid, the leggy from England, has played 24 matches with 42 wickets at an impressive average of 27.47 in the same year. Now at the moment, the England squad has too many all-rounders for their liking. An all-rounder will definitely win you matches here and there, but a specialist is bound to perform more consistency for your team and win you more matches. So these are the 5 reasons why England may not win the World Cup 2019. This is my personal opinion only. If you know any reason why England can't win World Cup 2019 other than these, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really like this video, let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you can catch up my next video. Thank you.